Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll talk about whether the new Apple M2 chip will be better than an RTX 3090. Let's head into it. M2 chip. The M1 chip launched Apple Silicon effort with a bang, but it's only the beginning of Copernicus' transition away from Intel chips. The anticipated Apple M2 processor might drive that spear even deeper into the Mac and iPad lineups, causing even more havoc in the semiconductor world. It's been six months since Apple's M1 microprocessor was introduced in the new MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini models. But enough time has to last for rumors of a second-generation Apple Silicon processor in the works. Originally rumored to be called the M1X, the next Apple CPU, based on ARM's brisk architecture, is expected to be a real second-generation improvement. A processor like this is likely to appear in a revised MacBook Pro 2021 lineup, as well as the new 27-inch Mac. We only have a few leaks to go on right now, but they're all looking promising. So far, this is everything we know about the Apple M2 processor. According to recent sources, the Apple M2 chip is already in production and should be ready by July. That suggests it will be unveiled at Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference this summer. It is close to release. We are very sure that we will see a release of the new MacBook Pro M1X in July time. The chip could be unveiled as a part of Apple Silicon effort. It could also be featured in a new or refurbished MacBook Pro 16-inch in 2021. At the same time, a revamped 27-inch iMac could be unveiled. If not this summer, the M2 chip should be available in the fall. It's possible that it'll be unveiled at the same time as the iPhone 13, which is anticipated to be released in September. Alternatively, the M2 might be unveiled at a separate Mac or iPad-related event, which might take place between September and November. The M1 chip wowed us, and the rest of the computer in Industry by outperforming the latest 11th gen Intel Tiger Lake processors. The M2 chip, on the other hand, is likely to go even further. The M2, rather than the 5 nanometer technology used by its predecessor, is expected to be manufactured on a 4 nanometer fabrication node as a result of the increased transistors on the silicon slice. We should expect the M2 to have a higher performance and efficiency. According to another source, the M2 will have 12 CPU cores, 4 more than the M1, with 8 high-performance cores and 4 efficiency cores for less demanding tasks. We may expect a significant increase in graphic processing capability, which should improve gaming performance as well as making Macs with a processor better suited to demanding video rendering and graphics-based applications. Apple M1-equipped MacBooks aren't even a year old, having debuted in November of last year, and the iPad Pro 2021 has just recently received the M1 treatment. As a result, we expect the M2 to debut on a new 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is aimed squarely at those looking for the more performance than the current MacBook Pro models. However, come the fall, Apple may just relaunch the entire MacBook Pro lineup in one fell swoop. We're looking for a fresh design that includes thinner display bezels and other design modifications to keep Copernicus laptops competitive with some of the best Windows 10 machines, such as the Dell XPS 15. And if Apple decides to give the 27-inch iMac a makeover, which it very certainly deserves, we'd wager that the M2 will be used. We're hopeful that the M2's greater processing power will allow Apple to push the bigger iMac design even further than the iMac 2021. Also, make sure to write your thoughts in the comment section. But this is a whole new game, and we just have to wait and see how Apple plays it. Better than the RTX 3090, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card is aimed at enthusiasts. The card, which is based on the GA102 graphics processor and built on an 8 nanometer technology, supports DirectX 12 Ultimate and its GA102 300A1 variant. All modern games will run on the GeForce RTX 3090 as a result of this. In addition, the DirectX 12 Ultimate capability ensures that future video games will include hardware ray tracing, variable ray shading, and other features. If all you do is play games, you probably shouldn't get it. The staggeringly powerful $700 GeForce RTX 3080 delivers considerably better bang for buck for pure gamers, unless you're a deep-pocketed fanatic willing to spend excessively for the exact best performance imaginable. Despite the fact that the RTX 3090 has higher raw horsepower, NVIDIA refers to the RTX 3080 as its flagship gaming GPU. Come here, Papa. Alrighty. 3090 is a beast. A ferocious GPU. The technical parameters of the graphics cards are compared, with the Apple M1 GPU on one side and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 on the other. The first is for laptops, the second is utilized on desktop computers. So considering that the RTX 3090 is pretty expensive and not so awesome after all, while the M1 is already pretty great, we can expect the M2 to be better than the RTX 3090 for sure. What do you think about Apple's M2 chip? Do you think it will be better than the RTX 3090? Let us know in the comment section. 
this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.